Hello everybody! Welcome back with another video from Aftershock Art and I'll be completing my vanity uh, look for you today from my Seven Deadly Sins series. Today I am, instead of painting myself, have chosen to paint my wonderful model Desiree here. And I'm modeling off some appliques that I've cut out. I'm usually using a product called Tin Sleeves. Um, I got them uh, from Custom Holiday House here in Columbus, Ohio. You can get them online uh, otherwise, um, or I'm sure your Halloween store has them around Halloween. Custom Holiday House does have them uh, year-round there. Um, and I am at Custom Holiday House to do this look today. Uh, Desiree uh, is the most perfect model I could ever ask for. Um, she's holding a paper towel underneath her chin because the Tinsley's can be a little tricky to apply. Um, I don't show necessarily exactly how to take them out of the package and how to flip them over. I do cut around the major pieces so that it just is a little easier to fit on her face. And once you've got, you know, the Tinsley uh, flipped over, uh, it basically uh, acts as like a uh, temporary tattoo almost. And the fact that it transfers off the paper and stays onto the skin. And it's a wonderful product. I do use it a lot for um, my um, uh, moulage when I have somebody who is allergic to latex these make wonderful wounds um and uh the seams are almost seamless so uh, this is just perfect for this look so i'm just taking my sponge and i just dip it in a cup of water that i have off to the side and i'm just dabbing it onto that uh prosthetic that piece that i've cut out um, and that'll loosen that paper backing from the um, prosthetic and when I remove it we will see that um, uh, that has been laid down onto her skin and we can continue with the process of adding more and more on top of that so I'm just kind of checking the little corners there to see where we are um, and she's so patient with me god bless Desiree It looks like we're almost about ready. There it goes. Yay! Of course, any little kind of stubborn edges, I might touch a little bit uh, with a little bit of water. Um, you could also use that uh, slick side of that backing of the paper uh, that uh, we peeled off of that prosthetic to help smooth down any edges as well. Um, I don't mind having some crazy edges around everywhere because she's going to have scarred skin or uh, like bloody skin anyways. So um, I'm not too worried about the lines uh, and, and where they're falling uh, on her skin. So just kind of taking my finger and tapping it down a little bit in certain areas. And then from here we just keep going. So got another one here and I flipped it around already and I take off the, the clear plastic back once you flip it over. And I'm just getting my sponge wet with water at this point. And I'll be going, looks like I'm going to go above the eyebrow right there. And again, the paper towel is just there because the water does, I do saturate my sponge heavily with the water um, to, you know, help facilitate uh, taking that back off a little bit faster. Um, and uh, the paper towel trick kind of works, it keeps her a little dry and, uh, you know, as that water runs down her face and her cheek and her chin and things like that, uh, we definitely want to make sure that she is as comfortable as she can be. That way, you know, your model likes you still. It's important that Desiree still likes me because she lets me torture her by doing makeup on her all the time. So it's important that she likes me after this. I'm 
And again, just kind of saturating that back there. You know, these Tinsley's come in like, they have zombie ones, they have like gashes and dead flesh and uh, burns and things like that. And they make all sorts of different ones out there. And, um, you know, it, it, it's definitely not something you want to try uh, to use for the first time. Uh, and, and needing it to work the first time. You definitely want to get it and play with it first. Um, that way you know, kind of know what you're doing and, and, uh, make all the mistakes that you're going to make with it first, um, uh, before needing it the day of. So, and as you can see here, I just keep applying and applying and applying. And we're going to go down her neck and on her chest. Obviously, I sped this up a lot. Again, she was very patient with me. And then here, I just take a Q-tip and I dabbed it in some alcohol. Um, it does dissolve with alcohol. Uh, so I'm just touching up some of the edges that I want to kind of uh, either dissolve or uh, uh, melt down. Uh, and hide some of that line work, some of those uh, lines, wrinkles, or whatnot that I want to hide. And there we go, we've got the finished product there. So that's all of that that I applied to her face. And now I'm taking a foundation that she uses and uh, kind of going to go all over all those edges. As you can see, the, the product is a little light for her. Um, so I definitely want to darken those edges up. And then I'm going to go do the beauty side. So I'm doing some eyeliner and I also did her brow on that side. And then I'm going to go in after I do the liner and the brows. I'm going to go in and with some face and body paint. And I chose purple since purple is very well known for vanity. And she also has purple in her hair, which worked out perfectly. The costume we got from Costume Holiday House. So the dress she's wearing is a rental that you can get there. And I used the purple and I kind of went around her forehead area, her eye, um, eyelashes, her uh, contour for her cheek, and just a little bit down on her neck and her collarbone there. And then I asked her, should we do glitter? And she said, uh, we always do glitter. Yes. So this is the glitter that I used on her for the purple. And then I have gold as well. So I've already applied the purple glitter, as you can see on her eyelid and a little bit on her chest. And I'm just going to do some touch up with the gold. Love this glitter. It's so fantastic. It wears beautifully. And again, just adding it in the corner of the eyes. And it looks like I'm trying to smoke out her eye a little bit right now. I'm going to smoke out, bring some uh, uh, contouring, a little bit more contouring in that uh, chest area and um, clavicle area, or not clavicle area. Yes, clavicle area. Now I'm going to contour around her scars. I'm doing that with black eyeshadow. Also on her left eye, I also did some eyeliner and smoked out her left eye, but I did not do purple on that one. I just left that black. Now I'm taking some fresh scab. Now that I've got everything all uh, contoured out and I'm just going to put the final touches. I just take a little Q-tip and dip it in there. And I'm just gonna tap it right into those wounds just to give it a little glossiness. I don't want too much to cover that up. I just want to add a little bit of glossiness to that and really make that stand out. I 
And of course, our look would not be complete without some eyelashes. So again, from Costume Holiday House, we went ahead and put those on. And then I had her put on some lipstick. And then we outlined her lip a little bit with just a little bit of shadow to give it a little bit more definition. Um, so there we go. We're going to add that around there. And now we have the final looks. And of course, we have always a little time to be silly and I'll have a little bit of a dance off. And this is what we came up with. Again, Desiree is always a beautiful and stunning model. She always does so fantastic. And I'm just thrilled that I got to work with her again on another project. This is her holding up a mirror so we can get half of the face beauty side and scarred side. Um, and this is our take on vanity. So I thank you everybody for checking in and uh, continuing to following us and give us a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and check us out on all the other social media contents out there and have an awesome day guys. Bye.